Prime Minister Narendra Modi has uh, privatised space launches and is looking to open up the sector to foreign investment. How significant is that in terms of who has to pay for this? The impact of commercial space companies has been perhaps the biggest shift in space policy and space politics since 1957. Uh, commercial providers like SpaceX have really changed the game and allowed more countries to access space. Uh, so clearly, you know, moves to privatize uh, space programs or lean more heavily on commercial space providers is a good economic bet. Uh, there is certainly an economic benefit to the countries that host uh, those types of services. And so I think, you know, that's exactly what we're seeing in India. That's what we're seeing here in the United States with uh, SpaceX and other commercial providers. We also see that with the commercial companies like iSpace, you mentioned at the beginning, uh, that built a lander for uh, lunar lander for Japan. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of these commercial investments. And I think not only is it enabling us to do a lot more, a lot faster, a lot cheaper in space, uh, but it's really helping to bring an economic benefit uh, to whatever country is encouraging that. You know, Wendy, uh, the key point here, uh, getting to the moon takes money, right? Also takes political will. In terms of rivals and competitors to uh, the U.S., uh, you know, the Soviet Union, let's say now Russia, do they have the political will? Maybe. If they wanted to, they could, right? Do they have the money? Maybe more questionable since their uh, coffers being drained by the ongoing war in Ukraine. What about China, though? China is certainly seen as a competitor to the United States. Uh, I think you could arguably make the case that they have actually surpassed Russia in terms of their capabilities. Uh, they have an aggressive uh, program, uh, not just in low Earth orbit, but to get to the moon. They've recently announced that they would like to get a crewed uh, mission to the moon by 2030. Uh, so I think China is definitely seen as this competitor on multiple levels uh, with the United States. Uh, but, you know, space is hard. Uh, you know, the United States that, ha you know, hasn't gotten there very easily. Every time we set a deadline to do something, we usually miss it. Uh, so I think that also has to be kept in mind here when we think about all of these uh, proclamations of sorts that we're going to get to the moon by this and this date. Uh, yes. This technology is a lot more difficult uh, than people, I think, really understand.